Alright guys, so I'm going to be crimping up um, the wires from my gauge cluster. So this is what we have. They're, they're real small crimps. Hopefully you guys can be able to tell on the camera. So I already crimped up two wires. Uh, three wires. No, two wires. And this is how much I take off. That's probably like quarter inch. Maybe less. These are the part numbers for the <clears throat> for those uh, connectors. This manufacturer part, 928-999 slash 1. Uh, search by that part number, buy them wherever you find them. These are from uh, New Work. It's a website online. I bought 50, 50 of them for $5 plus like 5 something for shipping. You're going to need some crimping uh, pliers. So, these are for non-insulated non ter uh, terminals, which is what we're doing here. And these are, I don't remember what their, their terminology for this uh, crimpers are, but they crimp this type of connectors. So, you guys can see that tiny stuff there. It's just so small. Oh, let me change my camera settings. There it goes. That's much better. And uh, it's the, the wire comes in from this side going down. You don't want it to go past, uh, past right there where my nail is. That's you don't want the, the exposed wire to go past that. The insulation of the wire is going to get crimped by these two little ears when you crimp them down. So, I'm going to try to show you, it's going to be very difficult um, for me to show you exactly how it's going to be. Especially trying to look at the camera. So, yeah, as you can see, the little ears on this piece. Mm, the camera won't really focus on that. But you're going to insert the cable through there. And you only want it to go up to there. Like this. It won't focus guys um you can look up some videos on youtube on this stuff and how to use the pliers but this is pretty much what you're going to be doing i like to put the the terminal in here first from 20 to 22 gauge crimping down a little bit just so it's held in place and then i insert the wire from this side and make sure that your um that your terminal is facing straight or else it's going to crimp it a little crooked and then you're going to have a hard time trying to push it inside the inside the the plug in the truck and I like to look to see how much wire is going through and crimp them down and then you guys can see the insulation got crimped by the little ears and the wire just ends just right before the this little um, cubby thing that's where the male terminal is going to come in on the gauge cluster so that's another wire I think I need five total so I bought the little 24 uh, gauge wire stranded wire on Amazon so that's what I'm using so I'm going to crimp the rest of the, the two wires that I got left and I'm going to test them in the truck. Alright guys, to remove your um, your whole gauge cluster, the top piece just pops off with a few clips. Then you have a couple 7mm bolts. Then you have a couple more 7mm bolts holding this stuff in place. Once you get to your harness, you got to separate both pieces. The gray from the black. It just slides in, so all you gotta do is pry it off with a small screwdriver, flathead, and it just comes off. And now we're gonna be tapping into some pins. I mean, to certain uh, pin numbers here, I need to go back and look at what pins uh, they are. And then I'll go back and tell you guys exactly where. 
All right, guys. So, oops. So according to this, we're going to be tapping into pin 1, 18, 2, 17, and pin 5 on the gauge cluster harness. So from one wire is going to be coming in from the radio module to pin 18. I mean to pin uh, to pin 3. Wait, wait, wait. Hold up. Oh, yeah. This is, this is, a, this is a radio harness. So this is going to be... Uh, the harness side goes to pin 1 on the gauge cluster and returns from pin 18 to pin 3. Yeah, so it goes from to pin 1 and then from 18 it goes back to 3. Uh, pin 3, you guys can see that there. So we need one wire on pin 1, one wire on pin 18, one on pin 2, one on pin 17, and then another one on pin 5. Which is going to go into the steering wheel, I believe. Oh no no it goes into the to the radio control. So those five wires we're gonna do that first. And then I think there's a six wire that goes into the into the radio I mean to the steering wheel controls. Let's see. Oops. Went too far back. Mm. And then it says uh, to steering wheel, from steering wheel, so from steering wheel, pin 20 to steering wheel, so from the steering wheel is going to go into pin 20, so I think we also need to put one on pin 20. But we'll do those first five first, so pin 1, 18. 2 and 17 and pin 5 all right guys so you guys can see right here we have pin 1 on the top right and it goes from there to the left so we're going to tap that and then the one on the bottom of that 17 and then so we're going to basically tap on those four right there which is 1 2 17 and 18 and then pin 5 is going to be down here on top which technically, uh, supposedly, those don't have any wires. Yep, you guys can see that pin 1, 2, 17, 18 don't have wires. And then 3 does, and then 4 and 5 don't. So we're going to go and do those now. Alright, check it out. So I got all my wires in there. I put the, the gray piece back in place. Everything just slides in real nice and smooth. So these are my... Uh, I believe five six wires that are going into my radio harness and then one wire that's going to go into my steering wheel harness and then so that's pretty much it I'm just going to tuck in those wires out of the way I'm probably going to pass them through the back down back this way for the steering wheel and then same for the ones in the radio so that's pretty much it for now until I get my new cluster whenever that happens probably gonna be a couple of weeks since from the time that I do this video so we'll be waiting for that uh, and yep all right guys we're gonna continue with the steering wheel upgrade gauge cluster gauge cluster upgrade I'm not gonna show you how to remove this I'm gonna post a link to a video of a guy that did it and uh, it's pretty straightforward if you don't want to do it the way he did it and then you guys can see uh, those little holes. Since I'm not using the steering wheel, I don't care if it gets punctured. Uh, so right there, there's a little indention. All you got to do is put a uh, flathead screwdriver in and push it in. And then you should be able to pop your airbag off. Before you do anything, though, make sure you remove the fuse that's on this side of the panel for the airbags. Disconnect your negative on the battery. And just wait a couple of minutes before you even attempt any of this. So now I'm going to remove this connection for the airbag. And I'm going to remove the steering wheel by taking off this nut. Disconnecting this harness. And I'm going to connect my new harness to where it has to go. So I'm going to remove the wheel first. Alright guys, I got everything off. Um, I'm, I'm a little confused as to where I'm supposed to plug in my control wire for my... That's coming from my gauge cluster. I thought it was going to be up here, 
but it I find it kind of weird as when you turn the wheel your wire might get snapped so I'm thinking it's, it's going down here to the connector for the clock spring which is this one right here I already took it off but the color wire isn't really matching up so I'm going to try to hook up to this green one which is pin number two and that's what it says on the thing so I don't know maybe the colors are different I mean the wires are different colors or what but um that's my guess there is another small harness here but it's only a four wire harness so I doubt it's that one so I'm going to tap into that one right there this green one 